Thank you very much. It's a uh, great privilege to be here to speak to this um, distinguished group. Uh, my um, subject here is um, leadership. Actually, it should be leaders and leadership. Leaders are important. In success, the leader usually attributes uh, the success to everybody in the organization. While, in fact, an objective uh, assessment would uh, reveal that uh, the leader really counts for a lot more than everybody else combined. In failure, usually the failure is attributed to the mistakes that the leader makes, has made. And uh, that's usually a very correct assessment also. Leaders are very important. Well, what, what does a leader mean? Really, the only condition for being a leader is that he or she has followers. As long as you have followers, you are a leader. And that uh, brings to mind, of course, a uh, rather uh, humorous statement that uh, Winston Churchill once made. Right after the Second World War, Winston Churchill said, um, the British Empire leads the world, but the world does not follow the British Empire. Now that, of course, that's a non-statement because the second part of the statement nullifies the first part. Huh? So if you don't have a following, you just are not a leader by definition. So the world really has a lot of leaders. Unfortunately, not enough good leaders. A good leader has followers. He also leads his followers to a advantageous result, a advantageous end. I mean, that's what a good leader does. A leader, if he is not a good leader, would sometimes just go around in circles uh, with his followers following him. Goes around in circles. Or, even worse yet, he may lead his followers to a disastrous end. And sometimes it will not be known for years whether a good leader, whether a leader has, where a leader has led his uh, followers. In a company, sometimes um, uh, the results of uh, what uh, the CEO has done uh, are not uh, clear. Uh, for a number of years, even after the CEO has left. Uh, and uh, uh, in a uh, country, uh, that's also true uh, of uh, what the, the president or uh, uh, the leaders in Congress have done. Uh, sometimes uh, the results will not be known for a number of years. Why is a leader important? Well, let's restrict the discussion to a company now. The top leader of a company usually sets the values of the company. Uh, the top leader of the company usually sets the vision of the company. 
the top leader of the company also sets the organizational environment of the company. Is it uh, an environment that encourages innovation, which is what a technology company must do. Well, in fact, it's what every company must do. Innovations, I think, has been pointed out several times just today by the various speakers. The innovation is a must in the future, in the more competitive, globalized world in the future. So, is, does the company have an environment uh, of innovations? Uh, does it encourage innovations? Does it penalize failure of innovations? It must not penalize failures of innovations. Uh, and that, uh, that's determined by the leader. And here, I'm speaking of the leader, but actually, you need the leader, the top leader, usually needs a lot of capable lieutenants that help him to execute his vision, his strategy, and help him to implement and solidify the values he set for the company. He needs a lot of people like that. And also he needs lieutenants that share his vision and his values and implement uh, his strategies in tactical actions. So, a company like uh, Taiwan Semiconductor, like TSMC, I have often said that we probably need about a hundred leaders. Uh, we, we have a total population of about 25,000 employees, and we need about a hundred leaders. And that's actually about three levels of organization. For myself, about 10 people report to me directly, and about 100 people report to those 10 people. So three layers of organization. Every one of them should be a leader. Now, I, I said that uh, uh, the leader, with, with the help of uh, his uh, co-leaders, uh, set values, set the environment, set the strategy, and execute the tactical actions that are necessary for the success of the strategy. And then, uh, very importantly, the leaders are the ones that are responsible for communicating their values, their vision, their strategy to both inside the company and to the outside. And they need to do so in a convincing or even compelling manner quite often. Communication skill is a very important part of leadership. Yeah. Now, I think I will make a few comments now on uh, whether leadership skills, where the leadership can be learned. Is, is leader uh, born a leader, or is he uh, developed to be a leader? Uh, I don't think there's a pat answer to, to that question. Uh, 
Uh, just as uh, Mr. Lai uh, this morning, when he talked about uh, creativity, he asked the question, uh, can creativity be learned? Mm. Uh, I have a equivalent question, can leadership be learned? Mm. Uh, and I don't think there's a, a good answer. Uh, I, I don't think Mr. Lai gave a good answer to his question either. Uh, now, I, my, I, I think about this quite often, this question, can leadership be learned? I, and I'm almost tempted to, to answer that. If you are old enough to ask me that question, you are probably, it's probably too late for you to learn. <laughs> <laughs> I think it can be learned, but learning probably starts from a very early age, like four or five years old. <laughs> that's, that's my uh, answer. Now, some parts of it, some parts of leadership, such as communication, can definitely be learned. Other parts, such as um, setting strategies, that skill, setting strategies, is, has to be based on knowledge. Knowledge of the, of the battle that you are fighting. Knowledge about your competitors, knowledge about your market, and so on. And that basis, it's, it's the basis, base of knowledge that one needs to, uh, to, um, to base the strategy on. The knowledge certainly, definitely can be learned. But there you need creativity to devise strategies based on the knowledge. And then, you know, we go to Mr. Lai's question, can creativity be learned? Mm -hmm. And also, well, I said at the very beginning that you need followers. A leader must have followers. Why do fo people follow a person? Why do people follow a leader? And there, I think it's, that's a very difficult question. As you get to things like charisma or uh, a person's uh, loyalty or whatnot. Uh, and, uh, and basically, I think it comes to the question of uh, the leader's heart. I think I really think that uh, every leader uh, has a heart uh, that at least causes some people, people that agree, that like that heart, to follow him. Uh, and uh, that's the part that, uh, if it can be learned at all, I think it will have to be started. Uh, at a very early age. <laughs>